Good morning, Year 6. It is Friday the 15th of January 2021 and this is your reading session. So you remember when we are in school, our Fridays look a little bit different, don't they? So on a Friday lesson, we will use a completely different text and there'll be no input as such from an adult because it is your mixed practice. So we're going to do the same. I'm going to share with you a text that I will read out loud to you and then you will have some time to finish the independent questions and then I will put the answers up at the end. And there is a stretch challenge as well because there's only about 15 questions for today's text. So let's get going. So as you can see, we have got a poem here. I know it is a poem because of the uh, way it is laid out on the page. I can also see that there are there is some rhyme in there, and though that isn't a requirement of poetry, that's often one of the things that points it out to us. Okay, so this is a poem called A Night with a Wolf, and it's written by a poet named James Bayard Taylor. And this is the abridged version, and all that means is it's shorter. So it's still got all of the meaning in there, but it's been shortened. <clears throat> so let's begin. High on the lonely mountain where the wild men watched and waited, wolves in the forest and bears in the bush and I on my path belated. You can see that there's an asterisk there, which means the meaning has been given in a little glossary down the bottom. So belated means running late. The rain and the night together came down and the wind came after, bending the props of the pine tree roof and snapping many a rafter. Okay, so props means supports for a roof, and a rafter is a beam that supports the roof. I crept along in the darkness, stunned and bruised and blinded, crept to a fir with thick set boughs and a sheltering rock behind it. There, from the blowing and raining, crouching I sought to hide me, something rustled, two green eyes shone, and a wolf lay down beside me. Little one, be not frightened, I and the wolf together, Side by side through the long, long night, hid from the awful weather. His wet fur pressed against me, each of us warmed the other. Each of us felt in the stormy dark that beast and man were brother. And when the falling forest no longer crashed in mourning, each of us went from our hiding place, forth in the wild, wet morning. What a lovely poem about two opposing creatures that work together to stay safe in the storm. Okay, so here are your questions. You can see here we have got some fact retrieval questions. So pause your screen now and some inference questions and have a go at those. Please do not write out all of the question. You don't need to, you can just write down your answers. So pause and your next page. We've got some word meaning, a summary question, and a prediction question. So pause the screen and have a go. Good job. And then if you would like the stretch, there are quite a few of you that should attempt this stretch challenge. There are two additional questions that are not related to the poem at all. They are just standalone. Have a go. These are inference questions. See if you can read between the lines to find the answer. In this one, you're going to find out what the extract tells you about the skill of the musicians, about how good they are or how poor they are. And what does it tell you about the parents in the audience like in their response? And in this one, I would like you to tell me what you can infer, infer has happened in the following extract, just from the description. So it doesn't tell you exactly what has happened, but we can have a good guess about what it was because there are some clues in there that point us towards that. So pause the screen and have a go. Okay, I'm about to turn the page to the answers. So if you're not ready for that, please do pause. If not, let's go. So here are your answers. Again, you can pause the screen and check your own. Where there is an example, um, it doesn't, obviously doesn't have to be exactly the same as that. It's just along the same lines of it. Okay. And then for the stretch questions, I've written some example answers at the bottom. Again, yours aren't going to be exactly the same. And that's it for our lesson today. Well done, Year 6, and I will see you bright and early on Monday. Bye-bye.